The ion and aluminum system relying on shape sensing technology for its navigation is really a novel technique. All the other systems that are out there are really relying on electromagnetic navigation, which can be fraught with errors uh, in some cases. And so the shape sensing is really novel in terms of being able to tell your 3D position not only of the tip of the catheter, but the entire length of the catheter. And so that's been quite impressive. The other thing about guided bronchoscopy has been you know, issues with deflection and things like that with your catheter moving position as you put stiff tools in there. But with the shape sensing technology that's built into the ion and aluminal system, it compensates for that. And so any deflection will be offset and you'll go back to your original position where you want to be and it remembers that based on the shape sensing technology. The integration of the ion and the luminal system is fantastic because it really doesn't change our workflow. We're able to do radial probe EBIS, we're able to do uh, cone beam CT scan and regular fluoroscopy without anything changing from our regular workflow. It's very important to us as proceduralists that we don't have something new in terms of technology changing our workflow. So the ability for me to be able to do cone beam CT, which is how I do all my navigation cases, without interrupting my workflow is quite important to me. Yeah, the Ion and Illumina platform is very versatile and very flexible, and it allows us to do whatever we want to do as part of our normal workflow, whether it's cone beam CT or, or radial probe EBIS. Certainly, Ion and Illumina system does not require cone beam CT scan, but if you have the advantage of having a system, it will integrate seamlessly without getting in the way.